Volcanoes, as always, were waiting to be climbed. We headed for Parque Nacional Cerro Verde. There are two climbable volcanoes in the park, Santa Ana and Esalco. using the van as a selfie stand. <laughs> Before climbing the volcanoes, we're enjoying some downtime. Crossing the border and figuring out a new country leaves us super sleepy. We came to the national park at the Mirador. During the day, it was a bit busy, but at night, it was very peaceful. Only the stars and city lights. From our Mirador campsite, we could see all the way to the coast. It called my name every time I looked out the window. The sun is coming up, are you ready to go? We can take a ride, we can take it slow. Your will is my law, I'ma let you be the boss, cause I'll go where you go. I'll take you to a place, we can see it all. Step off the edge, I can break. The Santa Ana hike actually starts from a shack a little ways from the National Park entrance, so you have to walk down and back up the road. Instead, we parked at another campsite called Casa de Cristal for the day and found another group heading up the mountain. You have to take a guide on this hike, no exceptions. The climb up Volcan Santa Ana is 4.3 miles or almost 7 kilometers. The elevation gain was 1,532 feet or 467 meters. We gave our guide a $4 tip because she was super friendly and awesome. We loved our hike up Santa Ana. It was almost always in the sun, so make sure to bring a hat and sunscreen. In our group was another traveler from the US. We had a great time chatting with him about his future travel plans. Our guide showed us some wild blueberries that we all snacked on on the way up. We had so much fun at the Mirador campsite, we had to meet up with our van life buddies there. We built a fire, cooked some veg on it, shared some stories and drinks. We always have the best time with Snow and Kurt. So you live in the dream. The next morning, we set our sights out to hike another volcano in Cerro Verde, Isalco. We got to do it with Kurt. The hike starts by going down the volcano we were already on, but at least it had tons of shade from the forest. The forest stops, and we are surrounded by big lava rocks, beginning the climb of Isalco. We hired a guide to climb Isalco, but in hindsight, as long as the gate is unlocked, you won't need one. They told us it was necessary, but we saw lots of people without. Pacaya number two. Death match with Pacaya. <laughs> it's in there. Unfortunately, Kurt lost his drone the night before, so we brought our binoculars to find them while hiding up the volcano. Phew. The, right over there. You see the houses there? Oh, wait, though. Hey, dude, dude, dude. You see those There's white the houses? Door. You're motivated, man. I'm going slow. <laughs> I am motivated. I'm feeling it today. Well, that's good, actually. We better charge on, man. This hike right here is like the hike up the lake. Oh. When you come down the shore to Akitanango. Yeah. I mean, it's the knife's edge, the razor's crazy. edge. This is our third country with our amazing van friends, Snow and Kurt. They always have great stories to share. We feel so lucky to have found them in Mexico, wandering Chiapas. Wow. So that's what we came down. Super long. What a hike. Volcani Salco is 4.2 miles or 6.7 kilometers, 
and 2,171 feet or 662 meters in elevation gain. Just trying to think how big a drone would be. What's that right there by the rock? Yeah, you see this or anything? Yeah. I love it when there's just like a natural staircase like this. Yeah. They're just like, anyway, beautiful. I feel like these are the size boulders that were rolling at us. Yeah. Rolling at the guide, at least. Kaya. <laughs> this is steep. These boulders? Bigger. Yeah. Probably bigger than these, like that big one. Infinity miles an hour. Twirling. Spraying lava from its edges. Que bonito el sendero. You can see right here the whole national park. The two, uh, the one dormant and two activo. But still, it's the hardest hike. Oh, you see the puma roll. Whoa. You can see the puma rolls already. He said five more minutes. What a heating vent right here. Oh my gosh. Like a hot dog. There's just a little hole in the ground with the hot air. Probably goes to the center of the volcano. From the top of Isalco, we can see the coast, so many other volcanoes, and the vans at the Mirador. Volcan Isalco was a more strenuous hike, but not up the actual volcano. That is entirely in the sun, but the hardest part is walking back up to the vans. Luckily, the switchbacks are all in shaded rainforest cover. I love walking through the rainforest. Huge butterflies fluttered around us, and we stopped when we heard movement on the leafy floor. Oh, uh, he says be careful with that one. Here you make dumplings. Yes, you can definitely make steamed buns. Steamed buns. <laughs> Whoa. It's nice, huh? Yeah. Worth the hike. Glad we did it. Wow. Yeah. Really cool crater. I love this. It looks just like a glacier. Remember in Alaska? Yes, yes. Where it would actually look like dirt too because it's like all covered with dirt. Yeah, the ice collects all the rocks. Exact same looking. Wow.